I'm gonna show you how to check and I guess change too the gear oil in your Polaris Sportsman 90. So this has the same engine as a Yamaha Jog here and it's the same sort of process. You can't really check it. I mean, there's a little sight glass in there, but that's kind of useless, Eustace. So what I do is I just drain it out and I see if the right amount's in there. Then I just go ahead and change it. It's easy. So all you do is there's a 12 millimeter bolt right in here. Take a little wrenchy, get that loose. I'll show you how to do that. Tools needed, red solo cup, 12 millimeter wrench or I guess socket, I've just only ever used a wrench. And one of these 100 mil syringes and you know, get some like weed eater gas line and stub it on the end of that syringe. Or you could go to Dollar Tree or Dollar General, where, I don't remember which one it was, but they had these things called flavor injectors meant to like, I guess, shoot cheese into a turkey or something. And they're like 30 mil. So you get, get one of those, that works just fine. Kinda hard to friggin' see here, but see what I got my wrench on there? This gear oil drain. Just wanna crack it so I'm loose. Sometimes it's kinda tricky. It's on there pretty tight. But uh, get a little hammer and whack that wrench, or you know, if you get a socket that can reach up there, it'd probably be better, but can't find my dang 12 millimeter socket. So once you got that all loosey-goosey, take your fill uh, thing out. It's a little plastic cap there. And now I'm just going to work this some loose with my hands and we're going to drain it. Drain it right into this little cup here. There you go. It'll probably look like milk. That's fine. This just looks like milk every time I've drained it. Yeah. And just let that some drain till it quits. And then we'll measure how much fluid's in there. You're supposed to have 100 milliliters of gear oil in there. Just about, you can overfill it just a bit. That's what I normally do. So now once we got this drained out, got it on the floor and got it all over my arm, I'm gonna put it into this syringe and see how much came out. Accounting for what ended up on the floor, that's about right and I don't think I have a leak. So I'm just gonna fill this up with new fluid and I'll show you how to do that. Now we'll take the very same syringe that just had the dirty oil in it and we'll put this little gas line on here, fill it up a little past the 100 mil mark and we will shoot the fluid into the gear case. And you're saying, well, Cole, you're contaminating the new oil. Not a spaceship. This is a $200 four-wheeler. I really don't care. So if you want to get two separate syringes to do this or you just want to guess on your measurement or you have another way to measure it that's not this quick and easy, go for it. But this is how I'm going to do it. So just get that little friggin' tube put in there and I'm just gonna squeeze this on in. Easy. Load a bit of grease into those. So I run a good $12 battery. It's about three years old and been run dead about 10 times. Top it off with some good injector oil. I don't want to pour and film. I probably spilled everywhere. Yeah. Fill this with an all free gas. Spray your chain real good. <laughs> 